coming onto the mat now. Kieran Muren of the Netherlands faces Ludovic Schamata of Switzerland. It's Muren in the white jidogi and Schamata in blue. Jerome uh, Muren took over that under 60 kilo spot from Ruben Hokus, the uh, world champion from 2007. And uh, the last few years, Muren, well, certainly since 2009, he's been the, uh, the man in the driving seat for the uh, Dutch at under 60 kilos. Ruben uh, Hocus is here. He's commentating for Dutch TV, but we might try and grab him during the uh, preliminaries tomorrow and have a chat with him about what he's doing because he's also working as uh, in the Youth or Children's Commission, I think it is, um, in the IJF. So we'll try and grab him and find out what programs he's uh, involved in there. No score yet between Morden and Shamata. Nice bit of work there by uh, Moore and trying to um, give Shamatan one look and then um, take him in the other direction. Didn't quite come off, but um, we knew um, what he was thinking about. Yes, that's that's good work now from Moran. Just got to trap the uh, the right arm. Lost it. Murren at the moment looking the uh, the more likely of the pair to score. Whether that actually turns into a fact, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. And we've got another minute and a half. Whilst uh, Muren and uh, Shamatan 
uh, doing battle. We'll prepare for another um, update from uh, Tatiana Flada, who's just uh, come back to our commentary position. Let's see. Um, let's see who we've got next. Information about Tina Zeltner. You managed to um, squeeze that out of him, did you? <laughs> after the coach saying no, you you, you managed. Yeah, now in the, after the first, or, uh, after the second round, uh, now she has been em eliminated and she oh, lost, okay. yeah, she no, lost no, her, no, no. she lost her match, and uh, but we still ask about that stranglehold mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, she showed us in the first round, and she said, yeah, I really like to strangle. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. Other people. So <laughs> So that's one of her favorite techniques, but and she felt that was a great match, the first one. She 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 lost to the Hungarian, is that yes, right? Yeah, she lost to Kara Hungarian. Kashedvik. How yes. did she lose? Do, do, do you do you did you um, see? It? Yes, I saw the she was in the holding. And Nevaza again. This is the no no yeah no no she was pitched to the ground yeah. and held and on the not, ground yeah. yeah 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 okay yeah. And what else have you got? Yeah, and then she she said, well, still she felt it was a good fight for her, even though she lost. But um, the opponent is very strong. Mm. She's a yeah, absolutely. Going World to the Olympic Games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So uh, obviously she was lacking experience still, but she she felt comfortable the way she fought today, and um, and she's very happy with the experience she got here in Russia. That's Tina Zeltner from uh, Austria. Yes. Okay, great, Tatiana. Thanks very much for that. We're going to get uh, Denzine White now. He's going to jump in and uh, say hello. Maybe he just came to do something else, but we're going to grab him anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> that was uh, Tatiana Flada, who is uh, giving us updates on um, the athlete. She actually worked for us in 2009 at the, uh, at the World Championships. So uh, it's nice to have her back around. We haven't yet had the benefit of hearing her converse in six languages, not all at once, but she can. So that's Incredible. useful to get to all the athletes. Good afternoon, Denzine. How good are you doing? Good afternoon, Sheldon. Doing good. Doing well. Just been working behind the behind the scenes. This is an incredible venue. It is a fantastic venue. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what, for the first day, and if we take into consideration that it's, you know, midweek, really, and, and on the first day, we haven't come to the final block yet. This is a good crowd for a it's it's European Championships. I, think, I believe they've pre-sold 5,000. That's right, yeah. Tickets, yeah. So. Couldn't get a ticket this, this morning. Two people came to me and said, can you get, get us some tickets? And uh, I, I went to the, uh, the booth and said, uh, how much the tickets cost? I said, well, we don't have any more. Today we sold out, so. I think they gave a lot of tickets to yeah, uh, yeah. the uh, sponsors mm. as well and a lot of um, companies mm. so you might see that a lot of seats are empty because those those are the ones that were given given out given and out and they don't haven't pitched appear so. but it's good you're right it's an excellent um, it's a great presentation venue. yeah they it's have a, it's an ice hockey I yeah mean, ice hockey uh, venue. The, the, the thing that's different here from do you remember when we went to Belgrade uh, a couple of years ago for the European Championships and it was dark yeah it was dark all day now maybe they'll do something for the final block i'd, I'd, I'd probably uh, I, I suspect that they'll do something for the final block and have it a little bit more sort of spot lit but i think that during the day this is really good there's a big group of uh, school children just coming in now coming yeah in there at the top so th those seats are going to fill up so it's very good they've got tons of volunteers as well loads really well. yeah Good performance this morning from Sarah Loco, the French girl knocking out Julia Quintavalli yeah, for I three good scores, yeah, really I strong. Could, I could only see it from a distance, but I did see her doing one big Uranagi. Yeah, that's right. Which yeah. I thought I saw the referee give Ipon He for, did. And then it was, I th probably was changed. That, that they gave to Wazari, yeah. Well, that was a good win for her. Yeah, that was quality. That was one of the ones we picked out yesterday as being a potential, you know, stumbling block. Um, but Loco really is more than a stumbling block. That's a quality fighter, and uh, she proved too difficult uh, for Quintavalli. Priscilla Neto, her teammate, went out, though, uh, losing to um, Kitsu of R Romania. And again, that was, that was the other way around this, this time, with Kitsu being the stumbling block and uh, Neto, the number two seed. She fell. She couldn't get past uh, a strong Romanian. Alila Dimitru. Yeah, Zantaraya is going to mat number two as we speak. 
He's going on now. Yeah. He actually had to change his jacket. Jacket didn't pass the uh, Sokoteku. Well, OK. Uh, test. Not once, but twice. Well, he's wearing one that fits now. <laughs> I yeah. can have a good look down there. It looks like a good, a good fit. They should know by now. He's facing um, uh, Issam Noor of France, by the way. So if you want to watch that, that's down on uh, Matt 2. We're going to finish off with uh, Muran and Shamata. This is a really tough one. Into the last minute here, and this is uh, golden score. And then um, on mat number four, Jasper de Jong of the Netherlands faces Dennis Kozlovs. And then finally up on uh, mat number one, we've just seen uh, Miriam Roper of Germany defeat Corina Capriorio. So that's a good win. That's another good one. Well, she, 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 beat, um, she beat Isabel Fernandez in the first round. That was the first round draw. Former you know, Olympic champion against... Um, Roper, but see, Roper's got a belief now. Before, she wasn't that confident about herself, but she's walking with some real confidence now. Well, and she's that's put in some consistent yeah. um, performances this year. And that's Capriorio and Fernandez back to back wins there for the German. That's putting a lot of pressure on Viola Vichter down in the bottom half of the draw. That's the other German who's chasing her for that uh, qualification spot. I think it's uh, Loco who's back on, on that number one again. Yeah, she's um, coming second, up against the, the, the Swiss girl, Larissa uh, Satari. They're just uh, getting underway there on map one, if you want to um, watch that one. We're going to get the decision here now between Muran and uh, Shamata. This one has gone the distance. Muran in uh, white, Shamata in blue. We're not going to see the, uh, the corner judges because they're just out of our shot. But here it comes. Muran gets the Three referees. Yeah. And uh, the corner judges agree. 